Greetings to all my educator friends. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a teaching studio in your home if you want to take your online teaching to another level. This is my teaching studio. It might look fancy and expensive, but actually it's just the corner of my basement. And I put the whole thing together for a few hundred bucks. Here's how you can do it. For starters, get a webcam that's better than the one in your laptop. They run about 25 to 50 bucks for something decent. And you can get better stuff, of course, if you want higher quality video. But for a webcam, it's probably not worth going above about $150. For audio, lots of options beyond the microphone that's in your computer, which, by the way, will make you sound like you're in a cave. Uh, these headset microphones, $30, $35 or so for good quality. Um, lapel microphone, maybe $20, clips to your shirt, to your blouse, to your jacket. And both of those are really good choices if you're dynamic, walking around, using the board, because you'll get consistent audio. The microphone is a consistent distance from your mouth. If you're going to be stationary as you teach or speak, like I am in this video, uh, a professional microphone like I have here, this is a $70 mic, is probably a better choice. One other tip with regard to audio, regardless of what option you choose, you want to get this right. Uh, students will forgive imperfect or grainy video. They're much less patient with poor audio. You see a chalkboard behind me. Actually, that's just chalkboard paint. Uh, a quarter of this stuff will run you about $10 or so and put two coats of paint on and you're you're done you get about 90 square feet out of it then there's the issue of lighting now this is not a must-have but good lighting really elevates the quality of your production so i got a pair of these box lights for about 70 dollars to illuminate my teaching set and look at the difference that they make the enhanced lighting it's much darker lots of shadows maybe harder to see the blackboard with the lights, it looks a lot more professional. And rightly or wrongly, people will infer quality from your production quality, not just from your content. One last tip. I connected my laptop to a 32-inch TV that we had laying around the house. It's about eight feet away from me, this monitor. So I see all of my students on there. I can see their faces clearly. I can see their nonverbals. I can see their names very clearly. I'm here. The students are over there. It just feels more like normal teaching to me. Plus, with my monitor eight feet away, there's this benefit. I can mount my webcam on a tripod right in the center of that monitor, right in front of the monitor and right in the center, which may sound a little strange because that obscures the, the screen a little bit. But in my setup, when I'm looking at the camera, I'm looking directly at my students. And when I'm looking at my students, I'm looking directly at the camera. So I'm not looking up away from them or down away from them, but directly at them. And again, feels a lot more like a face-to-face -face classroom, certainly for the students. Now, last thing. I recognize that all these details may seem like little things, you know, the lighting and the microphone position and the camera position, the dark background and so on, little things, but collectively they really add up to one big thing, which is a higher quality experience for your students, probably more engagement and a better overall education for them. Uh, and you'll probably enjoy it a lot more as well, even if you do have to teach from your basement. Thanks. Hope you found this to be helpful.